Hey everyone, this is Jackie Cooper with J. Cooper Travels, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode. Definitely please like and subscribe. We have a lot of uh, fascinating talks that are about to happen, and also um, a chat with Jack today that I think that you'll really enjoy and learn a lot from. Um, for those that are new to J. Cooper Travels, I just want to share a little bit more about my background so you um, can see um, the whole purpose and the vision. Originally, J. Cooper Travels started prior to COVID, and I am involved with um, travel and uh, travel insurance and booking travel but then you know COVID happened and I realized it's more than just where we go it's also how do we travel personally so J. Cooper Travels is all about the stories you know our personal story how do we interact with families friends as well as and business um, our inner and our outer journey so um, again I'm here to share your story as well as to provide you with resources Personally, my background has not been straight and narrow. I, uh, my background is that I'm an attorney. I'm also a single mom, as well as an educator and an entrepreneur. And um, again, I am uh, here to share different resources. And today with, uh, with Jack, he is going to introduce himself, but I connected with him on Alignable and other social media. And, you know, with social media, it is all about connecting and networking and supporting each other. So welcome today. How are you doing today, Jack? Jackie, I'm doing well because I'm out here speaking with you and interacting with you. My day is complete. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So I see on the screen, it says Tutor Jack. Uh, what does that mean? Um, are, what kind of tutor are you? Well, I actually started out with uh, language training. And of course, as a native English speaker, I was online and built a very large audience of international people who were learning English. I don't call them students, they're learners. I'm not a teacher, they're not a student. I'm using the word learner because I wanna level the world. That's what we're doing with the metaverse. It's a level playing field. I don't want superiority or seniority, but I want to interact with a large and growing audience of learners. Any language, any lesson, anytime, anywhere. So it's not just English, it's all other languages as well. That's why I'm growing rapidly and I really appreciate you having me on the show. Yeah, no, I'm always excited to meet people and to uh, support their efforts to help others. Um, you know, I, that's a, a strong belief that I have. We're all interconnected and we all have different skills that can help someone else. So I know that you and I talked offline about the fact that you guide people on social media. And I know that um, it is exploding in terms of just the number of platforms that are there for, that didn't exist years ago. You know, examples would be Discord, Twitch. You know, there are so many names that it kind of is mind boggling as to which one to go on to and what to, to navigate on. Uh, for both information as well as education. So um, how do you help people uh, with social media and figuring things out? Well, I'm glad you asked me that question because this is where I get paid today. And if you could join me by replicating what I do, this will even add part of the course, if you will. The most important thing that we can do on any social media platform that we have is ensure that our profile is completed accurately. Now, obviously, Jackie, since there's so many platforms and I'm on all of them, I am. And if I get invited to others, I join them too. But my focus is not always necessarily to communicate on each one because there's so many. But if I simply plant the seed and ensure that my profile is 100% correct. And then I leave. I never go to that platform again. I am receiving referrals from platforms that I forget that I'm even a member of. And the reason that's happening is because my profile information is correct. 90% of people out there, Jackie, fail on social media. They fail on it. Podcasters, 90% of the podcasters out there fail. The reason they fail is not because of their podcasting content. The reason they fail 
is because they do not have a profile or a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A description, a biography that's completed. Each and every profile that I have ever joined gives me an opportunity at a minimum if I never come back. They give me free publicity. Every single platform out there gives me 150 characters, 200 characters, 1,000 characters to talk about me. I do it. And then if I never use the platform again, so what? I put my 50 cents out there publicly and people can network with me if they love the use of that platform. So basically, what a million dollar question. You're making me extremely happy, Jackie. That's yeah, the so nuts and bolts. Going back to you in terms of what you do, since social media is a marketing tool, um, what are some of the other tips or thoughts that you are able to help the clients that you're reaching? I would have to say I use my elevator pitch. There's a lot of banter back and forth on Alignable about elevator pitch, and it's making me very irritated uh, to see that content that it, that's all over the place, uh, driving down an icy road. It doesn't focus on anything. My elevator pitch is quite simple. Your vision is my mission. Bam, that is my elevator pitch because I always get engagement when I say that to people. The first thing people will say to me if I say, your vision is my mission. And then just simply look at them because now it's like tennis. Communication is like tennis. The ball is in your court. How do you respond? People will say, what do you mean by that, Jack? What are you doing? What's your business? Got some time to sit down and talk about it? And, and there you go. It's so much easier. If I focus on your attributes and what you like, I make a friend for life that way. And maybe I'll get around to what I do in the conversation, but nine times out of 10, I'm engaging with people with your vision is my mission. And I wish that everybody on Alignable would simply feel free to use that pitch. Because if it went global or viral and businesses started interacting with that with people that way, what a blessing for me. What a great thing. Because now we're truly communicating, either verbally or uh, in uh, by speaking. I'm sorry, verbally or in writing. So um, how would um, someone get in contact with you if um, they wanted to use your services and supports? The best way for a person to get a hold of me is with my favorite acronym that nobody likes, but I'll use it anyway, because I like it. I call it 5 billion sales. What a rotten bunch of people they are. They give us all the opportunity to promote our goods and services. How nasty. Rotten people, I would never do business with them. That's just the answers I'm getting from a lot of people. I love 5 billion sales because they're the only platform where if I had 100 social media platforms, I could list them all. If I had 200 contact points, I could list them all. If I had 300, 400, the more the merrier. Linktree allows me to do the same thing, but I'm getting so many passive views on 5 billion sales. So I'll put my favorite link that everybody hates in the chat because you're asking me how people would contact me. So well, um, I, I'm not looking at the chat right now. So if you could send for the, those on the audio, they're not gonna see the chat. So can you um, say what the, the link is? Yeah, I sure will. Let me go ahead and do it this way. We're gonna do with the HTTPS, uh, the double, the colon, the backslash, backslash, 5billionsales.com and the number five, and then we're going to do a slash again, profile, slash Jack Bosma, J-A-C-K-B-O-S-M-A. That's going to be uh, what we're focused on. And those letters are all in small because it's a website address. I'm passionate about the platform, not because of what people will use it for. I'm passionate about the platform because of the number of profiles that allows me to promote on one single page. Okay. And I'm going to be clear about that. I yeah. want people to join me. I could care less if they ever use the platform. I want people to join me on 5 billion sales because I want to see a team of people with well-structured profiles that I can refer business opportunities to. 
So um, when someone um, uses your services and supports, um, what's the onboarding process and how do you help them? Well, like I said, we keep going back to how do I help people? Every single person I've noticed in many cases does not need help. They don't need help or they may not realize they need it. So what I do is I say, your vision is my mission. And we walk down the road together based on that interaction. No more, no less. Okay. Because when I use the word help, Jackie, people are not aware of how to ask for help. So they don't ask for help. So many times using the word help is counterproductive. I simply say, I have a good resource for you. So, um, so I know that again, I'm going to go back to the title on the screen for those that are watching the, the, the video side of it as Tudor Jack. Um, so how, uh, are you, do you consider yourself more a business consultant? Do you consider yourself um, a social media advisor? Um, what would you, what category would you put yourself in? Let's take those two and make it a hybrid, a social media consultant, I guess. Okay. Let's take the first title and the second title and just rapidly combine them. People have not given me a title. The only thing they've given me is Tudor Jack. So I'll take it because it's easy to remember. They may not remember my name, but the ah, Tudor Jack. Yeah, that's right. I forgot your last name, man, or something like that. So it's getting people on the bullseye for me. So on J. Cooper Travels, I always talk about one tip, one place. And the place is some a place that you've either visited or a place where, close to where you live that you think that someone should explore. The tip is um, a takeaway tip that people should uh, you know, think about as either a call to action or to walk away that can help them. So what, which one would you like to talk about first, the, the takeaway tip or the um, place that they should visit? Mm. I'm not really sure about places uh, they should visit uh, for the simple fact that uh, I've been to many countries in the Far East and I found them all to be enjoyable for their own reasons, but I also found it to be unattractive for some reasons. So I guess it's tomatoes and tomatoes. Uh, with the current COVID restriction, I don't, and this is, I hope you don't edit this out and please don't take it the wrong way. I don't see why we need to travel, Jackie, regardless if we're COVID or non-COVID, when I can link up with yourself and other audience listeners and members, and we create virtual tour packages. I'm not discouraging the visit. I'm saying, let's make the virtual tour package first. The virtual tour videos talk about a place very extensively. And then if we want to visit once the COVID restrictions are 100% lifted and we have 100% movement, that's of course on our dime and our choice. But I'm very successful on my podcasting platforms creating virtual tours because now we generate the interest. And may I really just take a minute and give you my best story that, I, that I've had happen so far as sure. a result of all my clowning around, if you will? Met a Dutchman going to Japan. I speak Japanese. I speak some Dutch. My name is Dutch, obviously. If you ain't Dutch, you ain't much, by the way. Anyhow, let's continue this uh, drive, if you will. Met a, a new lady in Japan, spoke always Japanese to me, taught me all the Japanese I know, no interest in learning English, 100% Japanese, figured it out, blah, blah, blah. The man from the Netherlands who I met has no Japanese experience. So what a disaster. I'm introducing two people that have absolutely no way to verbally communicate, verbally. But there's facial recognition and all the other stuff. Anyhow, make a long story short, like I said I would. Friends for life, they sent me the videos and pictures. I have never personally met the man in the Netherlands or my friend, the lady in Japan. And I, the reason I bring this up is because this is the power of social media to me. I can invite, excite, and engage with people and make things happen for people if they're willing to open their minds and explore. 
I, I would agree with you. Virtual is great. But I also know that um, different parts of the country, our United States are opening up and um, having um, different types of vacations also is really important. And my dog, I guess, is saying the same. Um, so I would just say that even though I agree with you that virtual is perfect, um, there are going to be people who are going to be uh, looking at travel in a different way as well. Give me a quick second. Oh, I'm not saying that virtual is perfect, Jackie. What I, I'm glad the dog is an active participant in our discussion. I, I mean, this is great. This is what it's all about. Even the dog prefers virtual, Jackie. All right. So <laughs> well, we're um, laughing. I'm having fun. Yeah, no, it's all good. It's all good. So um, what about the takeaway tip that you would like to um, recommend for people who are listening to this? What I would say to people is invite, excite, and engage. Because when we invite, excite, and engage audiences, we have the opportunity in our own way to promote each other's activities, to become friends, and to essentially share in the rewards and truly help each other with our own skills. I don't know who you know, Jackie Cooper, and you don't know who I know. Uh, that's a very powerful dynamic. I believe that when I communicate with people online, the device that we use is very simple. The device that we use to communicate is very simple. Yet as soon as we open our mouths, we screw it up or we mess it up. I want to make communication reflect the simple technology that we use to start it in the first place. I agree. We're all interconnected and uh, we definitely, there's a lot of ways to, to definitely use our virtual tools as well as our interpersonal tools as well. Um, so, you know, with, with that being said, I want to thank you for so much for being on everyone who's listening. The, uh, contact information for Jack will be in the blog below. So definitely, um, come back to our episode so that way you can reach out, connect and ask questions. Um, likewise for everything that I'm doing, I'll also be, um, sharing information and links as well. And any last minute thoughts that you would like to share Jack before we sign off? Well, what I would like to say, Jackie, is I like the Jackie and Jack dynamic, Jacqueline and Jack. I like the JAC aspect. And also, I wanted to ensure, and I don't know if I should do this in the chat message, but I wanted to put my alignable link in there as well, because I've been all over the place talking about my websites and this and this and this, but it all fundamentally started on alignable, because I've met some really enjoyable people, uh, real good people on alignable. Uh, everyone's very approachable. And if I can't approach them today, like yourself, I mean, we, we it may take a day or two or three or four to reschedule an event or to actually schedule some FaceTime, but Alignable is where it's at. I've been very successful with connecting and interacting with people from Alignable. I agree. Alignable has um, a really strong, good community, both for um, getting business support, networking, and uh, just learning about a lot of different things. So I agree with you. Alignable is a, a great platform. And if um, someone uh, has not you know, looked at it yet, definitely um, check it out for sure. So um, thank and you. And if I could leave people with one final word. Yeah. And please feel free to use it because it may fix this elevator pitch uh, minefield that everybody's walking across here. Your vision is my mission. Bam. That is a great leave, a takeaway leave uh, thought. Yes, I agree. So uh, thank you so much, Jack, for being on. I look forward to having future conversation with you, everyone. Um, thank you so much for liking and subscribing to Cooper Travels. And uh, remember, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. We're all one world and we're all interconnected. Have a great day.